Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Millwall review. Now if you could like, subscribe and share the video, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to donate to map passes and stuff like that, there is a link in the description below. So let's get to this. It's been a big week for Wednesday this week. We've had the interview with the chairman. Very interesting to see what uh, he said and stuff and I will say there is a bit in my video where I did get brought up on it and I like I said I was following the live blog at the time of me putting the video out there and the video by Ross Dayton uh, we both pretty much put our videos up at the same time so I hadn't had a chance to watch that yet so bear with me there we all make mistakes but we have had the point deficit gone we're now on five points we're still bottom which is kind of a pain in the ass, but we've now got that mental side gone. There's not that having to pay catch up. We're there now. We're on positive numbers. So let's see what we can do. We are going to play Millwall today, who have not had a bad start to the season, to be honest with you. Uh, they're currently sitting in eighth plate with 16 points. So they've done okay so far this season. So it'll be interesting to see how we go up against them, how we play. So our team news today is as follows. Wildsmith, Palmer, Boren, Iortha, Van Aken, Ojibayo, Reach, Bannon, Pelopethi, Kachunga and Windass. The subs are Dawson, Hunt, Delabatshrayu, Brown, Marriott, Rhodes and Patterson. Now I have already seen on Twitter people going, why have we not got Penny in when Harris is out? Why isn't he going to get a game? What's going on there? And Monk has said that. He got to, about, by the sounds, it sounds like he wants him to do a little bit better in training and do stuff. But he'll get his chances. I believe that. Now, I know, again, in the Rotherham game, I will very much Monk out and stuff. At the moment, I am still in that kind of 50-50 kind of thing. I've seen things where we can improve. I've seen what he's trying to do. And if, the, if our chairman's going to back him, we've got to back him a fan. That's simple as. We've got to do that because there's nothing else we can do or have a say on it. So let's just get behind the team and the players and the management and Chancery and just back them. Hopefully we can get three points against Millwall. It'll be a tough game. It's our last game before the international break. So it'll be good to get a win and then have some time. The players have some time off, but to work on things. One thing to work on, corners. Please work on corners and beat their first man. And But if that's what we can do, that'd be fantastic. So let's try and get all three points and hopefully a win at home. So, in that half, there wasn't much to write home about, to be fair. We had to battle a little bit, but it was a difficult, difficult game, to be fair, because we were having to play and we've had some chances, but it's one of those sleepy kind of games. Uh, and you want to really crack on and go forward. No teams on top, that's the main thing. Derby are currently bottom at the moment, so that good. Wickham are losing to Forest as well, so we could do with winning here. Hopefully, we can crack on here. Kachunga had a chance which went wide. Uh, also, so did Windath that came close as well. We've had some really good chances, to be fair, and we've just not taken them. It's that whole thing again with us where we need to take our chances. We had a bit of a risky bell at the back with uh, Wild Smith. Uh, there was a situation where Boren and Bannon ran into each other and nearly left them in, came very close. We have to do a lot better and we've got to keep our discipline. We can't keep getting uh, yellow and red cards. Luckily, we haven't got any today, but I'm just saying that in general. Hopefully, we can do things and get this sorted. But going forward, we need to be really, really careful. Hopefully, we can crack on in the second half and get it, but it's going to be a very, very tough game because... They're playing well with the chances that they had. There's nothing clear cut, but hopefully we can crack on and get three points. Hopefully it'll be better in the second half and bring Izzy Brown on at some point for some creativity. See you in the second half. So in that second half, there was not much to talk about. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, we had some good chances again. 
didn't take home. And it was just a crappy kind of last minute of the game. And it really got going for us in like the 70th minute and really went for it. But it was one of those games that we, I think we were always going to take a nil-nil really. Come, let's be fair, Millwall are a good side. They are a very good side and they play some very good football. The only downside is that we need to start taking points. We need to start taking these chances. And we don't take our chances well. And that needs to be something that needs to happen sooner and the sooner we can start taking chances the better but it could be one of those situations where we need to start taking them if we can improve on that in the international break that would be fantastic i love that but at the same time we need to push on if we can push on and start going from open play which is the key thing it'll be good Kachunga looked good today. Palapethi put another great shift in boren looked good again as well uh bora oh can't be Bothered to get his name right. Played well. Uh, I all had a solid one. Wild Smith looked good. Reach had a good game. And we're starting to get there. Things are starting to look up. So hopefully we can keep doing this. And if we can look up and move on, it'll be great. This is the last video for a bit because of the international break. But I'm going to try and put a live stream up this week at some point i think it'd be good to have a talk with everyone quite i haven't done that in a while and i might be putting some other things up as well so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one